So it survived after all. My impression that all creatures made of flesh were hopelessly squishy was, uh, premature. It has made me revise my opinion of its kind, my kind. I am, or at least was, a dwarf. A creature of flesh. I have to keep reminding myself that. In fact, I think I may even try to become one again. Wynne has offered to accompany me to Tavinta to speak with the mages there. The circle of Minrathlus has the largest collection of arcane knowledge in Thedas. If it is possible to reverse this process, then the knowledge to do so will be there, or that is my hope. And if not, then I will keep looking. I have nothing if not time, yes. That is tempting. Very tempting, but no, this is something I must do. I intend to return eventually, unless I finally decide to destroy all pigeons everywhere. That may take a while, but otherwise I will come back. If it happens to one day see a tiny little dwarf who appears very nervous of being squished, that will be me. Until then, I wish it well. It, you have been a fine friend. It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. Deserved, of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It could have been no much worse. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Aldred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isild refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. <laughs> yes. Yes, he most certainly does. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. So, if I heard right, you'll be leaving soon. Any room for an extra body on your travels? Good. Because there's nowhere I'd rather be than at your side. At any rate, I should let you get back to your celebration before someone drags you away. I look forward to seeing you again afterwards. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment, which would be a welcome break, mind you. Eventually, with Talison dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened, but they are like the tides, predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker, while fun, that might eventually get complicated. 
You said earlier that you were planning on returning to the Grey Warden Fold soon. Is that true? The Grey Warden? Me? Oh, no, no, no. There's some bodily fluids even I won't touch. The Grey Warden seem to be a fun bunch to hang around, however. Maybe they won't mind a resident assassin. I'm an excellent mascot. And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyhow. <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? Until you do something wrong. And then they will enjoy tearing you down just as rapidly. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. Shale has expressed a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. It's true, I don't know how much time I have. Maybe not very long at all. So, I shall see as much of the world as the Maker allows. Perhaps this is a gift in the end. A nudge in the right direction? I doubt we will meet again, young man. If not, please accept my best wish. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. The, the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. I don't know. Maybe eventually. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again. See where that goes. Yeah, I'd better. I'd better. She throws me out and shacks up with some poetess. <laughs> I don't think my ego could take it. Ah, well. Enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. It is good to see you again, Kadan. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word. But I think I understand its meaning. The Arishak, on occasion, has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A Link Kunoran Vel would be too proud. When a Kunoran Vel is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Yes, 
It will be difficult to travel alone, after so much time spent with companions. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. It has that one of the paths, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Where is the cake? I was told there would be cake. Cake is a lie.